Tony here with RCHelp.com and I'm going to show you something today that a lot of people take for granted. Now I want you guys to admit, how many of you guys have actually cracked your case open and adjusted the tension of your sticks? How many of you guys have actually played with that tension? You know, go soft, go medium, go firm, and how many of you have actually found where you like that tension to be? Some of them, like myself, like them real loose. Some of them like these things real tight to where they can feel each little click every time they pass that, that center section. But I'm going to show you how to do this. Now guys, don't get intimidated by this. It's six screws and then you are all you're doing is tightening a few of them. You're not doing any of the wiring. So the first thing you need to do, turn your radio off and then flip it over. Now on the back here, you're going to have two screws up here, then two screws here and two screws down here. All you need to do, just remove those six screws, and this case will come apart. Now that we've got the six screws out of there, it's real easy. This back will just pop right off. Now mine's going to be a little sticky because of the paint. It's just the nature of the beast. But whenever you open this up, be careful of all these wires. What I'm going to do, just for the sake of for you guys to see this, I'm just going to remove this back panel. Alright, now that we are inside the back of the case, the first thing I got to tell you is don't worry about some of these wires, like the wires here, these wires here, and these wires that are cut right here. These are to the backlight. These actually go up here to the throttle cut. I took that off because I had a little, what I call Knight Rider mod, which is what these little panels are up here, and I used this to change how those lights flashed. That's why these are unplugged. But to get on with what we are actually going with, to adjust the tension of your sticks, you've got your elevator here, your aileron. Remember, this is backwards because we're looking at the back. And then you've got your rudder right here. To adjust these, you're going to screw in this screw here, this screw here, or this screw here. So look at it and find out which one of these is going to be moving whenever you're moving the sticks. This one's going to be moving the aileron. This one's going to be moving the elevator, and then obviously this one's going to be moving the rudder. To adjust the tension, all you do is you either screw in or you screw out on that. And you'll notice the screw will go in, but it doesn't look like it's getting any tighter. But if you look way down in here, you'll see this spring starting to stretch out. I've always run mine a little on the, on the loose side, but I've gotten more and more to where I like that that real crisp feel whenever you're right there at the center and the reason for that is that way I know where center is if I'm doing something in the air like I said before you can't exactly look down at your radio to find out where your sticks at so you got to do everything by feel but guys it's real simple screw it in remember the old adage righty tighty lefty loosey you turn this to the turn this clockwise or to the right it's going to tighten these sticks you go counterclockwise or to the left it's going to loosen the sticks. On this radio here, it came with another little deal that actually had a little recessed area. And there is little teeth on the bottom of your uh, throttle on the plastic. And if you put that piece on, it will actually give you that ratchet feel. I don't like the ratchet. I like the fact that they actually put this nice smooth one in there. Be sure to put some good lithium grease in there, like a white silicone or something like that. That way this thing doesn't, it doesn't want to catch. But to adjust it, it's the exact same as the other. You screw it down to make, make your throttle pretty tight. Or you'll back it out. Now don't back this out too far because if this thing comes out, you're going to have a throttle that's flipping and fluffing all over the place. So, Guys, I hope this kind of helps you. Uh, go out and play with these. Like I say, there's only six screws. Whenever I was adjusting mine and playing with it and doing all the experimentation, I would only put two screws in the case. I'd put this one way up here, and then I'd put this one in down here. That would hold my case together. And then I would come in and I would adjust the aileron and elevator. And I'd get my feel and then go out and adjust it again. Maybe try it really loose and then try it really tight and then try it right in the middle and then fine tune it from there. But guys, you got to make this radio your own. It, you bought it. It's yours. Experiment with it. What's the point in this hobby if you can't have any fun? Guys, let me know if this helps. Uh, come over to my forum, rchelp.com. 
and be sure to sign up on Facebook. We have a Facebook page as well. Uh, just do a search for RC Help on there and you'll see it. RC Help, your RC information source.